All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, English co post-match commentaries for SLFC fights that have already taken place. This fight took place between uh, Hussein Bakh Safari and Ismail Haidari. This was SLFC 3 in Afghanistan, in Kabul, in SLFC compound that was tailor-made for MMA professional fights by uh, the SLFC management. Um, this fight took place in Kabul. Um, two of the best bantamweights that we had back then, Ismail Haidari and Hussein Bakh Safari. Hussein Bakh Safari was just coming in um, to the pro MMA scene. He had one fight before this, which he uh, won in SLFC 2. And then his opponent, Ismail Haidari, uh, slightly more experienced. He had um, a couple of fights or even more under his belt when he was fighting Hussein Bakhsh. Um, safari. This fight took place in uh, 2016, and uh, this was one of the uh, stronger fights that we have had um, before. That's right, that's right. This is uh, Coach Amadze here. Uh, this was actually a very anticipated fight because both of these fighters, they fought in SLFC 2, and uh, both of them, they had first round finishes. And uh, as you said, both of these fighters are considered because they're coming from their the respective uh, disciplines. What uh, Ismail Haidari, he comes from a wrestling background and he went right straight into MMA. And with uh, Safari, he comes from a Kung Fu, Taekwondo, wrestling and a Jiu Jitsu background. And their own respective fields, they're very, very respected fighters. And tonight for them both to face off, uh, this was a very, very good matchup made by the SLFC and a very exciting f uh, fight for the fans to watch. A top class fight, yes. Uh, Haidari also comes from, um, um, has a very strong boxing background. He's a very good boxer. Yes. Um, Hossein Baksh, on the other hand, uh, very nimble, very fast. Um, he has kicks, he has BJJ, he has, he's also one of the national. Uh, members of the national BJJ team that represents Afghanistan on the international arena um, is uh, Hussein. He actually has uh, brought some medals uh, from the Asian Cups and uh, the different disciplines of uh, Jiu Jitsu. And then at the same time, I was basically talking about the past uh, of uh, Ismail Haidari. Like in the past, he was uh, strictly uh, training MMA, and the recent years, he has really. Uh, focused on his boxing skills and he's been boxing with uh, boxing trainers as well and with both of these fighters uh, so uh, this is a ro more raw version of these two fighters today and age if we were to see their fights uh, they're much more seasoned yes absolutely absolutely and from that time onward it was uh, Hussein Bakh Safari has uh, come to become the darling of the nation he is one of the most if not uh, the uh, if not the most uh, fi famous fighters and loved fighters here in Afghanistan and since then he has represented Afghanistan on the international arena f winning all his fights in Russia and other places and same can be said uh, for Ismail Haidari he probably is today Ismail Haidari the best uh, bantamweight fighters that are that that uh, who is in contract with SLFC and uh, probably the best bantamweight fighter inside Afghanistan. And actually today in age, uh, it's very interesting right now, we are, we are talking in 2021, uh, that uh, Safari is the, actually, he holds the belt for SLFC, and Ismail Haidari is a contender. Now we are going to listen to our own Bruce Buffer, and uh, give the fighters this introduction. This fight is scheduled for three five minute rounds. Fighting out of the red corner, this professional mixed martial artist has got a record of six wins with only one loss. Who's standing in at 180, 68 centimeters, weighing in 64 kilograms, fighting out of unified Ismail Haidari! Introducing his opponent, this man has got a professional mixed martial arts record of six wins with no losses. 
He stands at 163 centimeters tall and weighs 63 kilograms. Fighting out of Fajr, Hussein Bakhsh Safari! The referee for this match is Yusuf Mohammad. قوانین تمام میشه برای گفته شد اما توجه هر فایمه میباشین فاول نمیزنین وقت به زمین عریفت میفته با زانو با لگت با سر و صورتش نمیزنین Ref, you moment, ask both the, both, the, both the fighters to go to their corners and the fight begins. There you go. Um, Hussein Bar Safari, age 21, against Ismail Haidari, who is 23, both bantamweight. Uh, Haidari um, does have a slight bit of a height advantage, but nothing that could seriously put Hussein Barsh into. I think there was a little mistake in their fight records. Uh, in this fight, uh, Ismail Haidari showed that he had 7-1. He was seven and one, and uh, Safari being uh, six and six. But I, I don't think in this at this point, uh, these guys did not have that many fights. I think this was uh, Safari's second fight, and Ismail Haidari's maybe fifth or sixth fight. Quite a common sight. Uh, oh, good head kick there. Good exchange. There you go. Oh. No. Safari did a good job defending it. Uh, Safari's got a head and arm, and Ismail is trying to get his head free and maybe uh, trying to sprawl to the back of Safari. Safari's doing a good job sprawling and not allowing Ismail uh, to create any offense of himself. There you go. Safari takes his back and a reversal. Oh, good slam. Powerful slam by Safari. I mean, there's nothing to choose between these fighters when this fight was going on. Both fighters come in with extreme speed and at the same time, um, both have uh, great qual qualities, good qualities. Ismail Haidari being more adept in um, jiu-jitsu. Uh, back then, not necessarily Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but he represented the Japanese jiu-jitsu uh, federation here in Afghanistan, so he understands what ground game is. On the other hand, uh, even then, Ismail Haidari was one of uh, the better fighters when it came to ground and pound game, um, um, uh, when it came to MMA. But Interestingly enough, we see Safari being on top. And he's mounting uh, Ismail Haidari. And uh, let's see, uh, Ismail Haidari needs to, uh, you know, reverse this position and come uh, take himself out of this very vulnerable position. And then Safari needs to capitalize from this uh, position because he's on top and he has all the advantage. Yes, you don't want to give Safari that advantage. You don't want him to be on top of you because he's one of those fighters here. Um, uh, in Afghanistan, in SLFC, who could, unlike many of the other fighters, capitalize um, uh, within seconds and submit you either through an armbar, kimura, or a rear naked choke. His uh, uh, strengths are his speed, not necessarily on his feet, but also on the ground, the way he uh, moves around, the way he immediately goes to your back. And as you can see... He made his way to the mount again, and it seems like Ismail is having a hard time getting out of the bottom. Safari it seems like he's uh, trying to do some down. Uh, he's trying to soften uh, Ismail up and trying to uh, look for his submission. But softening is one thing that Ismail Haidari doesn't understand. I mean, he's got one of the most powerful chins amongst all the pro fighters here in Afghanistan. And the willpower that this guy has, uh, of course, this was uh, first or the second fight Ismail Haidari had at in SLFC. But later on, those are really strong and powerful elbows that you see uh, Hussein Bar Safari putting on his head. But, but you can see it is not, it is, it, it is not, it is not affecting um, Ismail Haidari mentally, and that has been one of his strongest traits when it comes to uh, his fighting style. Another strong punch and an elbow on to the face directly. And if we were to talk about uh, you know, the future from this fight, uh, these days uh, when in uh, Ismail Haidari's last fight, he has the same issue of not being able to get uh, not being able to get out of the bottom. Uh, so this is one uh, position that, as you know, I have trained uh, Ismail Haidari and I worked a lot with him. Um, oh, 
an attempted armbar, beautifully, beautifully defended. Nice attempt and a good defense by Ismail. Haidari on top, Hussein Bakh Safari is tr trying to lock him in a triangle. Now it's Haidari's turn, he's on top. He's active, he's trying to make him pay. Good job by Safari getting back on his feet. That's a good reversal by Safari landing on top again. Good defense. We have commentated on other um, matches that we had from before. Um, and as you can see, there's a clear um, ground game and wrestling difference when it comes to these two bantamweights. Yeah. I mean, the way, um, Hay uh, the way Haidari set up uh, Safari for a choke, but again, Safari was up to it and he locked his feet and he, he, he had a very strong defense to it. Another armbar, an attempted armbar, that's a dangerous position. Defense by Ismail, and I think that was the referee stoppage. Is it is it the end of first round or did he stop? I think it was the end of first round. Oh, okay, okay. We don't have a visual clue, a cue here, um, because back then I, I think the broadcasters didn't have uh, graphics to let us know um, the round, so we'll have to... Um, that was a good, exciting fight. I mean, when you compare, this is from the beginning of uh, days of SLFC. For in the beginning of SLFC days, a lot of these guys were raw and green, but these two guys are showing otherwise. I mean, these two guys, even back in 2016, they are showing the skills, uh, whether on the feet and on the ground, the skills that they could take these skills and fight at uh, pretty high levels. Absolutely. Um, a pretty strong fight over there. Um, who do you think, who would you give it to? I mean, strong exchanges from both sides. Who was more dominant? I mean, it's uh, very hard uh, for me to decide, but uh, for most part, Safari uh, being on top, he was on the mountain, had uh, Haidari uh, in the bottom position. Uh, and I think that was the difference maker in this round. Well, pretty close, pretty close. It could go either way because Haidari did have his... Uh, uh, his moments, uh, exactly. When he got on top, he made sure that he, you know, he paid back with, with interest. With interest, of course. Absolutely. I mean, this was, this was the first fight, as Ustad uh, Iraj said, um, to be at this level with, with your second fight or with your first fight, I mean, it's absolutely amazing in a country like Afghanistan where MMA was pretty new. This was the first uh, professional organization and still is the only professional organization working out of Afghanistan on an international level. And you could see clearly, even though Safari did, does not have many fight experience as Ismail Haidari does, but he's hanging with Ismail Haidari because he has a very extensive background in wrestling, Kung Fu, Taekwondo and other sports. And you, as you early, earlier pointed out, these guys are totally different fighters today from that time. Good exchange over there. Wow, Pav Pavel did that caught him pretty hard, that elbow from Ismail Haidari. I mean, today Ismail Haidari would be more closed. Uh, he would be more on a boxing stand than he is here. Yes, even the, with the, the same with um, uh, Safari. As you can see, Safari's arms are on his, uh, to his side, his uh, face is exposed. Uh, he's not, uh, he doesn't have a Ooh, that was a strong knee. Good, good takedown by Haidari. Take by Ismail, that's Ismail on top, right? Yes, that's Haidari on top, Ismail Haidari. But Hussein Bax also caught him with a very powerful a punch. Uh, not letting Ismail capitalize on this position. He's doing a good job fighting from the bottom. Safari is. Oh, Safari is trying to go for that. Head and arm. Oh, and he uses that to reverse. He uses that to sweep uh, Ismail Haidari, and Ismail Haidari does a good job coming back to the turtle position, but Safari is able to mount him again. This is one of those fights where a single moment of negligence could cost you the fight because both fighters are so adapt and skilled at what they know and what they understand, which is uh, slightly more than what other fighters knew back then. So they're pretty good at their craft. Uh, I mean, there's Haidari who has good uh, ground defense. On the other hand, uh, Hussein Bash has been the aggressor uh, the entire time for the for the two rounds here. The Stops the fight. Uh, I don't think the round ended, did it? 
I have no idea. Oh, okay. okay. Lack of activity. Was there? Was there? Do you think that was a lack of activity? Uh, well, back then in the SLFC, I think uh, the refs were a little bit more... Whoa, whoa, whoa. good one, two, three. More sensitive in the terms of activity. So the, those standards, yes, the activity level was low, but in today's standards, no, they were actually active. Wow. Well, very good exchange from both fighters. I mean, these guys, they don't care whether on the feet or on the ground, they're, they're going at it. They're, we're with, looking at two warriors that are just, you know, standing there. They're not taking anything from them. Well, they are, they are in it to win it, and you can, you can clearly see the blood in their eyes, and they're sensing it, both of them. So again, as I said, this is one of those fights where speed... Uh, speed of thought and speed of uh, your hands and feet are going to decide uh, uh, the fight in a moment. And oh, nice, nice knee there. Penetration by Ismail Haideri. Haideri is trying to take the back of Safari, and Safari is trying to turn away. Oh, there you go. Good job by Safari trying to gain, regain his guard. There you go. Safari does a good job putting Ismail back in his guard, and Ismail ends in Safari's guard. Safari is doing a good job holding Ismail down, not allowing Ismail to posture up and strike down at Safari's face. Ismail Haidari, on the had other hand, do you think comes out as a stronger fighter when it comes to pure strength? Or uh, uh, Hussein Bash, who has a slightly more uh, demure stature, but strength-wise, he's, he's, showing, he's showing equality. I mean, he's, he's equal to whatever Haidari is trying to, strength-wise, trying to uh, present. I think what we are looking at tonight, I think both of these fighters are very even in terms of strength, but in terms of technicality, Safar is showing a little bit of uh, more, a little bit of more class, because when we see them in exchanges and reversals, Safar is always able to uh, end up on top and maintain his top position. And even when Ismail Haidari holds uh, Safar in the bottom, Safar is able to come back and uh, bring uh, Ismail Haidari in his guard. So what is this position, so you're the technical guy here? This, uh, well, uh, right here, this was a very interesting uh, position <laughs> because uh, Safari, he had a omoplata uh -huh. while Ismail Haidari was on a reverse mount uh, position. So they were both uh, basically in a stalemate position. Uh, both of the fighters did not have a clear um, advantage. So right, so that was, yeah. that. okay, that, that was the end of round two. Who do you think? was uh, more dominant in this round of stuff? This, this was a very close fight as well, but I think Ismail Haidari did a better job than he did in the first round because he was not in the bottom as he was in the first round. This round, he was actually able to mount uh, Safari as well. All right, so, well, for me, it was really, really even, and uh, doing two jobs at one, being the commentator and also um, scoring is extremely difficult. That what I, that's what I have uh, realized. Fast-paced fight like this, and uh, in this uh, 63 kg weight category, these guys are fast. These are guys are lightning fast, and uh, as we are witnessing it. So both of the corner men, they are uh, trying to prep their fighters for the third round, and the referee, I think, is telling the corner man to uh, get out as soon as possible because the timing's uh, running out. So back then, this being a new phenomenon here in Afghanistan, every single aspect of it had to be taken care of, either individually or through, um, through a management system. So the ref here has to uh, really push the corners to respect the time and leave within the 60 seconds that is allotted. But as you can see, it's not always easy with, uh, uh, with corners. His best. You can see he's running back and forth. Okay, so we are in the third round. The fighters are sizing each other up. Let's see. Ooh. 
Nice right hand by and a back take by Ismail Haidari. He's on top. Haidari puts in his hooks. He's going for the he's going for the RNC. Is he deep? Is he deep? He is deep. He is there. He is deep. Does he have him? Turn around. Is that a tap? Oh, there you go. That's a tap. Exactly. Beautiful. 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 Able to submit Safari. And throughout the whole fight, it seemed like uh, Hossein Bach Safari was the better jujitsu guy. And all of a sudden, Ismail Haidari comes back with a rare naked choke of Safari. Exactly what I what what I'd been saying during the round. That one moment, that one moment of ignorance or complacency, um, as I said earlier, would cost because these two fighters are so quick, uh, both in their minds and with their actions, with their feet and with their hands, that that, that that one movement would cost them, and that's exactly what happened. That one moment of complacency by Hussein Safari. Wow, Th this this is what the sports is all about. This is. Th the thing that this LFC has brought to this country of the sportsmanship and the love of the two fighters even after the fight. You know, in the beginning of the fight, there was a lot of animosity, a lot of rivalry, but after when it's said and done, both of these fighters are nothing but respect to each other. Respect, respect for both fighters. I mean, this was one of the um, more beautiful fights that we had here in yes, SLFC. Actually a great fight and we are actually trying to make Ismail Haider and Safari part two and uh, of course of course today happen, well of course today the belt is with uh, Hussein Bach Safari it was actually but he didn't decide to extend his contract let's go to the uh, results first and then we'll come back to it There you go, the more aware, the more adept fighter won the fight. As I said, that one moment of complacency would cost them, and that's exactly what happened here. Yes, coming back to your question before we do the close down, of course, Hussein Bach Safari was part of SLFC until he got the belt, but once he got the belt, he did not want to extend his contract with SLFC. He is now fighting for uh, other international organizations in Russia or in, uh, I think, in Poland or some other place. So we did want to have this fight where uh, Hussein Bach Safari is the legitimate contender for the fight, but that never happened. So, so 